What's up guys, welcome to theartclasses.com Today uh, we are going to talk about how I use the reference and the proper way to utilize the reference that you will use in your illustration There's a big dif There are a big difference between using uh, copying from a photo and <laughs> using a reference So a lot of time I'll get a question on the video that did you use a reference uh, but usually what it does mean is like did you copy from a photo somewhere that's um, and reference use uh, it's very important uh, in making a concept art or illustration and there are many ways to use uh, reference in your concept art and illustration uh, when you look at something or analyze something so I will show you how I use the reference today just um, on a few of my on a couple of my illustration and concept art all right let's get started so uh, here is uh, close-up version of the illustration uh, of a book cover that I did for some publication in Australia and in this one I use a lot of reference to get to um, I'll show you the full one here so we're just gonna close this one up and that is the full cover basically and if you zoom in you see um, the size for the book cover is probably gonna be that uh, about that big but I usually paint about three two to three times bigger and if you zoom in you see a bunch of like brush stroke like here you see all this uh, craziness in here <laughs> pretty chaotic but uh, if you zoom out it will look clean and okay so first I'm gonna show you uh, this one and how I get to this point so basically uh, you see a lot of my speed painting on uh, this is basically one of them um, and most of my speed painting are basically comps so um, where is it so I start off with here and it's usually not that big it's probably about that big so this is where I begin and uh, the reference I use for these is uh, tons of that one is basically the reference for lighting so there are many ways to use the reference like you you could find one photo and uh, have using the lighting as a reference so that if you notice even though it doesn't look anything like this one but if you don't you notice the lighting they are basically the same so once I establish the lighting from there then I can um, thought of how am I going to compose my scene and what do I put in there in the beginning I didn't think of it as much but then I was like ah maybe I should make them a, a, a mech commando or and then I was like oh maybe I should give them a group so a lot of time I will use uh, lighting from other reference but usually um, it depends on you know how sometimes I do the, the lighting style and sometimes I don't I use a reference for something or sometimes I just come up with uh, the comps on its own. So in here I add a few uh, soldiers behind it really rough and I want to see how the composition turned out and if it turned out that I uh, enjoy the composition and the composition could, could be taken further then um, I would go in and add a bunch more detail in it but before you go in and add more detail you, you want to sketch out like okay what kind of detail you want for the arms or um, is it going to be mech or are they carrying a gun so I changed this totally to have him um, being a sort of like a, a mech commander as you can see like a bunch of uh, armor more of a futuristic and then you see the tank become a tank and then um, you have to have you have to have an, a good understanding of, of light and shadow uh, to be able to uh, make this happen because if you look at this here uh, only this part or you see the, the cutoff between light and shadow that it's already going into the shadow zone and when you paint an object into this shadow zone you have to consider the lighting okay the lighting coming from the basically the sun come from the back so this guy gonna get a little bit more light and all the rest of this guy will just get the touch of light because they are in the shadow zone so and also uh, with the face, I also using the reference by looking a bunch of, of hyenas. See, even though it, I just kind of okay. I, I look at the mouth and how it's gonna go, and I give him a scar face, 
and if you Google hyenas, you're gonna see tons of hyenas. So on the generic term, I usually use Google, right? So you can you can have wider range of options because robot uh, will gather this image for you. And then I will do a research for on Pinterest on for some mech design. So you can just take a look at some mech design on Pinterest, which one would fit your um, type of mech because there are so many. They are like steampunk, um, futuristic. Uh, you want it to be a more rounded shape, or you want it to be more angular, or you want it to be a little more Japan um, It's entirely up to your direction of how you're going to design it. So once you gather a bunch of reference, you can put them um, into a where is it? Uh, reference folder. So in here, there's a I couldn't find a reference folder that you for this, um, but uh, here it's kind of something similar. Uh, it's one of my students uh, make them uh, for his project. So uh, you also you have to look at the real reference of like okay how is the wire how the gun would look and all this part of the tag you can use uh, all part of uh, mix with realism and the concept and the futuristic stuff and then you can apply into here like how and uh, you have to also consider if you're making creatures then you have to understand how their body anatomy work I don't want to just make a humanoid and make give him a human anatomy I want to make him maybe give it a, a hybrid look so he will still kind of walking on his uh, tippy toe with a little hunch like a gorilla kind of thing but he will still have to rely on his uh, forefoot so uh, and, and walk on the back foot and be able to still like carry stuff and I would imagine like how they would like if they sort of evolve uh, into a little bit more um, human like like how would they walk so you kind of have to mix it with the hybrid so that is the first one that's how I use the reference so there is a difference between gathering a good reference to use for your illustration and just merely copy a photo and painting so that's it. <laughs> Um, I think a lot of time people misunderstand uh, reference, especially the beginners. Um, it's, it's not. It's a good practice to you know sometimes if you want to to paint uh, a photo just to practice your lighting and your accuracy, then that's fine. But um, that's not all when you're gonna use a reference. They're just not mere copy. So, so in this illustration, I use quite a bit of the reference because I have to design a suit uh, I have to maybe uh, look at how the curly hair actually work and if you see here there's a lot of brush stroke just going in to try to mimic the hair and um, uh, and it's it just a matter of preference some people when they make the illustration they like to clean mm, clean line and clean stroke but I use I do love the texture of the brush and it's helped me achieving really some a little bit easier when you have uh, the mm -hmm. alternate between uh, different texture brush um, and in here you can see there's a bunch of um, element involved like the, the gun I have to design and on a certain angle and the hands that I have to look at reference which hands are easy you can just look at your hand and angle it differently or you can look at the uh, some photo you can find the holster and the way the holster attached to the body um, so I'm just going to explain uh, bit by bit. First, um, one thing before you start illustrating, you have to come up with your own composition first, like how is this whole thing going to look. And then you know, you're going to select one from many of your comps. So this is uh, where I start off with, which each one uh, for me is about maybe 10, 20 minutes. Uh, depends on how uh, uh, how much you want to put in and how uh, many element you are in there but usually when I make a comp I'll think about foreground which is here her and the wall midground which is a bunch of soldier here and this wall building collapsing here and the background uh, which is there and then in here uh, is foreground will be him and her and then midground will be this block of the building here and the background will be like two soldier same as here foreground midground the background so think of it simple and um, the reference that I use, uh, these are just part of it, right? So you have to look or um, searching for like the hair, for instance. I have to kind of know what curly hair look like and how uh, how do I want 
the curl to look and so I look at a different uh, curly hair um, and then I just kind of try to mimic the shape of the hair and how the texture of it and apply it to my illustration right here so there is one um, and then um, when the face is angled up so I have used this tool for the reference or how am I going to uh, angle up the reference the, the face uh, but it's uh, you can flip it so you have uh, if you flip it you can see it a bit more that it looks pretty similar to these two so right and I'm gonna flip it back now and then the design um, I kind of uh, look at some reference from here to kind of get the you know the I idea or the direction that you would go uh, not necessarily like taking it from there because um, every time you see some good design you kind of like oh that's cool and then I also add a bunch of uh, character reference here either from the real life um, costume or uh, the concept design um, and trying to apply whatever element like you know you see a bunch of these are really cool uh, design stuff like straps uh, how did he put the host on and what is the armor I'm making and uh, all these but this is a little more uh, bulkier um, version and but I want my character to sort of be a little more streamlined but with a bit more armor than these two um, and then all the goons here are basically more of the bulky design that I have and you see the holster basically I kind of take it you have to look at the real reference of the holster like how they actually look right so you can properly add them to there and how um, how you get the holster onto the belt or uh, the chest or the legs um, many different versions so you have like that strap these straps and maybe some other thing like uh, this uh, shotgun uh, ammo uh, which she doesn't have any shotgun there but maybe he's laying around the ground somewhere um, and then the gun design so you kind of have to look and then hands uh, how the hands are holding the gun even though it's on a different angle here but you somehow you have to use your imagination like how it's gonna uh, hold up uh, or how uh, perspective gonna get involved in there so anyways um, yeah so basically um, the key points are you have to understand the composition first uh, second you have to know the lighting lighting are really important the better you understand the lighting um, the better your illustration gonna turn out and um, the good use of reference like uh, you have to take a lot of element from um, anywhere you could find um, some inspiration concept art some realism because if I just kind of okay uh, guess or assume what curly hair look like then I wouldn't be able to make it look so realistic as um, or look as uh, as real as, as curly as I want to so yeah um, anyways so yeah thank you for watching the video and I hope you learned something from this and if you want to uh, take the class with me you can go click on the right corner and there's going to be a link to the you know, group class or one-on-one -on -one mentorship or if you want an easy access you can just go download the premium tutorial they like a few bucks and it's usually two hours or more long you can just download that on my website and, or you can just go to my playlist on YouTube they are free so you don't have to like um, pay anything but um, the premium tutorial are longer and they are better explained and I show you from the beginning to the, uh, the end but yeah uh, this is basically one of the questions that are that you guys ask me how to use reference and I don't think I've done the video on this yet so this is uh, pretty good idea so if you have any question please uh, post them down below and I'm gonna try to make like a short video tutorial to keep up with your question that you ask and but there'll be more uh, long-form video coming also uh, and usually I will upload the tutorial video on Thursday and I am going to upload the QA usually on the weekends and I'm planning to have a uh, interview uh, with uh, artists from um, either video games or uh, film or something like that probably sometime midweek uh, and I plan to do it maybe once or twice a month so I hope you guys looking forward to that and it's gonna be live so just 
uh, looked through that. It was supposed to be yesterday or last night, but um, something came up, uh, so I couldn't really interview uh, the artist uh, from Blizzard. So next next week, uh, I'll have an interview with uh, uh, Wednesday, next Wednesday, which is uh, Wednesday on the 27th. Uh, I will have an interview with the uh, Blizzard character artist, Haifan, and then uh, hopefully you guys enjoy me that. Probably it's going to be around um, 7 or 8 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday, so mark your calendar and I will see you guys there. Alright, well, have a good day and see you soon. Bye-bye.